In this video, I'll show you how can you generate PowerPoint presentations using generative AI and that too also for free. I will show you three different options using which you will be able to generate your presentations. I also have detailed video available on each of this topic. If you want to understand in more detail, then you can check those videos also. Now very quickly, let me show you the first option and that is using ChatGPT. If I just go to ChatGPT console and there, if I just paste one simple prompt, I'll be using the same prompt for all three options. And this is the prompt I normally use to generate any of the PowerPoint presentation whenever I explore any of the generative AI tool to generate PowerPoint presentation. So if I click on this particular icon, then it will start generating the content for us. Let's see how it generates. And after that, how can we use it further? Now you can see this is creating the structure. And after that, it will generate the presentation. Now it's asking me that this is the structure. Do you want me to generate the presentation? Yes, I need it in PPTX format. And then if I hit enter, then it will start generating the presentation for me. And once this will be ready, then we'll be able to download that presentation. So let's see how much time it takes. You can see it encountered some error and it's auto recovering and it is creating the content again. So this is the good part. ChatGPT introduced from four ChatGPT four onwards, this particular option they introduced. Now you can see the link is ready. If I click on it, then it will download that particular presentation. So this is ready. So now this is the presentation. If I double click now, this looks very, very basic, right? Now we can do very quickly two things. First of all, we'll go to design and then we'll go to slide size and we'll click on white screen. So then it will become 16 is to nine. So this is first step. Second step is under design tab only. You can see there are multiple different designs are available. So if I click on this particular arrow, then you will be able to see multiple different options. If I maybe select this one, then your entire slide deck got changed. So this is to change the theme of your entire slide pack. Now, if you want to change any specific slide, maybe let's click on the second slide. Then you can see in the right pane design suggestions are there. If I click on it, then I'll be able to change my specific slide. So to change the entire theme, use themes under this design tab. And if you want to change anything on a specific slide, then you can click on any of the option from this right pane it will change that specific slide. So this is design pane. If it's not getting invoked automatically, you will be able to find it in two different ways. One is under design tab. The last option design suggestions. Similar option is available under home tab and again design suggestions. So these are the two areas you will be able to bring it in. That is one. Second one is if you are not happy with any of these particular suggestions, you can scroll down and you can click on this particular option to see more design ideas. It will generate more such designs for you. So you can take a call and you will be able to utilize. So this is the first option using chat GPT. How can you generate PowerPoint presentation and that too absolutely for free. Let me show you the second option. If I come to this Google Chrome again and I open a new tab and there I type manus.im. Now that's the tool name. I'll share one link in the description below. If you click on that link and you create your ID, then you will be getting 500 additional credits to start with. Now Manus stopped this particular option earlier. Any new user uh, could had option to generate that link and when they will share with their friends, families, both of them will get 500 credits, but that stopped now. So you will not be able to share it further, but at least using this link, you will be able to get 500 free credits. Now coming back to the presentation. Now Manas AI is a different type of application. Chat GPT is a LLM tool, but Manas is a generalistic AI agent. So it works in a different way. That's the reason if I paste that same prompt here and I then click on slides, then you will be able to see multiple different themes are also available. And if I select any of them, maybe this mahogany and then I click on this button, then it will start working. What I have done, I have already generated the presentation using these options. Why I generated and why I'm not showing here because 
it normally takes more than 5 to 10 minutes to generate a presentation and that's the basic difference between chat gpt and manas ai at least on the output perspective it is it normally takes more time than chat gpt now if you see i recently just few 10 for 15 minutes back i generated this presentation if i come back here you'll be able to see the same prompt i gave and after that manas started working and it created file it it did multiple different followed multiple different steps and then one by one slide by slide it generated the content now once this is done now you will be able to see this this is the presentation it generated right and if i click on view all files in this task then there will be the presentation where it is this is the presentation it generated you can see this is the quality not that bad right so it also generated a good amount of text and different qualities while maybe theme of these slides and these two are different that we can work on what we will be able to do we'll be able to download it as pptx and we can go to powerpoint and we can make required changes so that's the way you will be able to do so one good part of these tools are think about a scenario where you need to create a powerpoint presentation for some purpose so instead of opening a blank document in powerpoint and staring at your screen this is a better way that you generate the content or the structure using any of the generative ai tool and then download it as pptx file and then you edit it further to make it as per your requirement so that's the way you will be able to use it so this is our second option that is manas ai using which you will be able to generate powerpoint presentations now let me show you the third option and that's maybe the best one and that is using gamma so for gamma also i will add two more links using the first link if you want to try it out for free if you click on that link and you create your id then you will be getting 400 free credits using which you will be able to play around and you will be able to understand how this works that's one second link will be an affiliate link so if you are looking for a paid plan so that also you can use but in this video let me show you how can you use it for free right that's the way i men mentioned in this video but this particular application also have a paid tier whenever you are generating using the free tier using those 400 credits you will be able to generate five full fledged deck that's the way you will be able to use it and then if you still have the requirement and you like the tool then you can go for the paid one so let me come back here very quickly if i click on this create new there is one option available here that is generate if i click on it and then i paste my prompt here and before i start executing i'll ensure the presentation is selected then 10 cards you can select any of the number of slides 10 is the maximum number available uh, within the free tier then one option is there the size of your slide again i'll select 16 is to 9 and then english is the language and then if i click on generate outline then it will generate the structure of your presentation so you can see this is the structure it generated these are the points will get covered in each of those slides so that's the thing it's generating now once that is done then you will have few more options like how much text you want minimal concise detail or extensive i'll continue with concise and there will be different themes you can click on view more to view some of the more themes also what i'll do maybe i'll click on this particular option and then i'll select theme so my theme is selected then image source i'll continue with ai image and then ai image model i'll also continue with auto select photo realistic is the picture style i'm looking for so that is already selected and then i'll click on generate currently you can see i have 2566 credits and after generation let's see that how much credit it consumes so if i click on generate then on the fly you will be able to see how is it working and how is it generating the presentation it will show you step by step and on the fly you will be able to see it's generating look at it so currently it's generating this entire powerpoint presentations on the fly already it created three different slides and now it's going to the fourth one so this is the way it is generating the presentation and look at the quality 
and how is it uh, creating it so this is the best option among these all three however they have a limited fleet here but still you will be able to generate five full fledged deck using this particular tool and using your free tier but if you still get any value then you can use the paid plan also a paid plan of their paid plan starts with if i come back to uh, gamma homepage and if i click on this upgrade to more you'll be able to see their paid plan starts with 400 rupees per month in case you are accessing it from india in case you are watching this video from other part of the world you can check in your currency how much it's showing but it's nominal it's not very costly tool so if i close it now let's see how much credit it consumed you can see it's 25 to 6 which means 40 credit it utilized to generate this presentation so this is all about it these are the three ways using which you will be able to generate powerpoint presentations using generative ai and that to absolutely for free hopefully this video was helpful let me know in the comments below which one you are planning to use and after you use also let me know your feedback that which one you found most helpful earlier i recorded another video covering canva and some automations how can you generate multiple slides at one go if you want to know more about it check out this video for the entire step by step guide